Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm finally talking about my porcelain veneers, my new smile. I'm so excited. So I really hope you guys find this video interesting or helpful in any way, shape or form because I know it is such a big step to get porcelain veneers because at the end of the day, it is a permanent change. So I'm going to talk you through my experience and how everything went with me. Let's do it. So for you guys that don't know what porcelain veneers are, pretty much custom made shells to fit your teeth and they're pretty much stuck on top and your real teeth are grinded back so this is a permanent like solution so I think the main message in this video is when you are getting your teeth done or if you are considering it it is really important to make sure you're going to someone that knows what they're doing has a lot of experience and can do them to make them look as natural as possible because they definitely can look supernatural I think my teeth look real they just look perfect and I never thought I would say that so I went to a dentist named Dr. Lazarus. He is honestly amazing. He's based in Sydney and there are people that have flown from all over the world to see Dr. Lazarus. That's how you know a dentist is good. My experience with him was absolutely amazing and I couldn't recommend him enough to you guys. I would only recommend the best of the best and he is the best. So let's rewind back to about three years ago when I was 16 when I went in for the consultation for my teeth. So I thought that my teeth were completely healthy. I've been to dentists locally obviously my whole life and everyone said my teeth were fine, they were healthy. So when I walked in there I was just like I just want to get my gaps fixed, I just want a straight smile and that's all I thought of it. And my dentist was so shocked at how bad I was grinding my teeth. They were starting to become really paper thin and the enamel was like pretty much gone on my teeth and they were just extremely unhealthy and I feel like if I hadn't gone through this whole process of getting pulled some veneers I wouldn't have teeth in my head by the time I was like 30 because that's how unhealthy they were. So I was really shocked to hear that because obviously I was just going in there to get like a prettier smile but really there was so much more to that. They were so, so damaged and I'm like 16 and they're already that bad so <sighs> it was really scary. A few of you guys might know I did get composite veneers about two years ago before I got my porcelain veneers and there was a few really important reasons why we had to change it. So the first one being... The composite veneers are a lot weaker than porcelain and because I grind my teeth so bad they just weren't suitable for my teeth but the reason we did the composite veneers straight away was because I was 16 at the time and your teeth and your jaw and everything in here is still moving around until about like 18 to 21 so we did need to just wait and we're kind of just having like a test run to see what they would look like and how they would feel in my mouth and yeah, it was just too early for such a big change in my life. So this is where the fun stuff started. It was time to get my porcelain veneers. So I went in, got my composite veneers taken off, and I got some temporaries put on. So what the temporaries are, it's what you have on your teeth for about two weeks before you get your porcelain veneers because your porcelain veneers have to be sent overseas or sent wherever they have to be to be made. So that took two weeks, and then I went in to get them done, and the temporary teeth that were put on were a pain in my butt and they're a pain in everyone's butt because the material is super soft because obviously they're only temporary and you want them to be easy to take off that's why the material is super weak so I couldn't eat any hard food or anything for two weeks which was really hard <laughs> really hard but it was all worth it obviously when I went for my full seven years so I went in and I guess it took how long did it take about four or so hours and Jonathan was there the whole time with me I got needles to numb my whole mouth so I didn't feel anything at all. The process was just really smooth. I was just laying there watching TV the whole time. I had happy gas. It was just a really fun time. So yeah, four hours went past and it was time to look at my teeth and I honestly couldn't feel anything in this area. So when it was like time for the big reveal, I I was trying to smile. It was quite hard, but honestly, I was so incredibly shocked. I was so happy. I don't know. I had no words because I never thought that my teeth would look this good. I never thought I'd be this confident with my teeth and to be honest having a smile that you're confident about makes such a huge difference in your confidence. I am so much more confident with my smile. I'm always smiling. I think smiling is so important because smiling is beautiful and it's contagious and it's a sign of happiness and I just think everyone should be confident with their smile. With my composite veneers, I had my front six done and then when we were moving on to my porcelain, we decided to do my front ten because I do have a really wide smile. So it does depend on your smile and your mouth shape and your jaw shape and everything when it comes to like how many teeth you're getting done or 
whatever that is. I don't really know that whole process, but with my teeth, it was 10 because my smile is so big. I didn't get my bottom teeth done because they're pretty straight and you can't really see them when I smile. Um, I guess until I get old when my whole mouth goes, hmm. Hmm. Porcelain veneers usually last about 7 to 20 years according to Google, but I'm going to ask Dr. Lazarus about that one. I know they do last a very long time though. I'm just going to keep going for checkups every now and then. Um, so yeah, I wear my mouth guard to bed to protect them. It's like a really thin, comfortable mouth guard. I pop it in, wake up, take it out, teeth look perfect still. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and hopefully you found it helpful. Make sure you do take your research really seriously with who you are going to because it is a permanent change. You can't go back once you get porcelain veneers because your teeth get grounded down. So I hope this video helped you out. I can put my notes away now. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I've been thinking about you.